Hello everybody, that time of year again with a brand new Let's Play. This is Solar Warlock, MuchGames.ca, and Machinima coming to you guys with a, you know, game for the GameCube. Um, it's also for the PlayStation 2. The companies that made this actually never existed after this was made. Now, why I decided to do this one is I wanted to do it like this. This is Spiral Enter the Dragonfly. But what I want to do is I want to have it so it's... I do a Spyro spin-off, and then I have, like, no, what I want is a Spyro game, Spyro spin-off, Spyro, Spyro spin-off, Spyro, and then I think there's one more, two more spin-offs or something like that. But anyways, my plan is to have it like this. Uh, so the storyline may seem a little out of whack if you've never played the second or third game, but in reality, it really doesn't have doesn't that much difference. The scaredy cat. They sure do look happy, don't they, Spyro? Well, it's not every day that a dragon gets his dragonfly. Uh, right, Sparks. We meet again, little dragon. I'm back, and I'm stronger than ever! Who are you calling little, Shorty? Nobody invited you! This is an invitation-only party. Very clever, dragon. You know, you should join me. We would make a great team. What do you want this time, Ripto? Oh, yeah! <laughs> what do we want this time, boss? You're not hired for your brains, you dinosaurian land mass! Keep thinking and I will send you back to the place I found you, unemployed in Molten Crater, begging for work from Nasty North. Now, back to what I was saying. Well, what do I want this time? I'm glad that you asked, Purple Pest, and I will be happy to demonstrate. Since I've had enough to do with dragons, I thought, perhaps, dragonflies. <laughs> well, that wasn't supposed to happen, but... You see, without the power of dragonflies, the dragons are nothing. Soon, the dragon homelands will be mine. <laughs> Spyro, that little lizard totally stole all the dragonflies. Even Sparks is gone. Spyro, Hunter, don't worry. I think I know where to start. Follow me. First of all, I have to say weird animations. And, oh, cutscene again. Sparks! I thought I lost you, pal. That was close, Sparks. Listen, I think I may have figured out a way to catch those dragonflies. Spyro, stand back! <laughs> Whoa! What'd you do that for? Drat, that didn't exactly work right. I'm still learning, you know, Spyro. The good news is I've created a powerful magic that will enable you to use different breath abilities. The bad news is you're gonna have to find dragon runes to use them, since the spell scattered them in different parts of the dragon realms. Cool! Come on, Sparks! Let's get going! We've got a lot of work ahead of us if we want to find those dragonflies. Do you think we'll ever get a day off? Okay, now that we actually get to play, there are a few things I want to say about this game. This game was actually uh, supposed to have Ripto, Nasty Nork, and the Sorcerers all come back as like a triple threat ultimate Spyro game. But the funny thing is, is it they rushed the game so much to come out on the GameCube and the PlayStation 2. Well, I think Xbox also had it. I'm not sure. They rushed it so much, though, that they made it a choppy game. The load times for the PlayStation are ridiculous. And, oh, looks. 
Yes, yeah, Sparks, you can't talk yet with bubble breath. I know we don't have bubble breath yet. Oh, man. Yes, we know what gems do for those who have watched my Spiral the Dragon LP. You know, the, what the running on here is pretty smooth. The graphics do move somewhat decently. But it is known as the worst of the Spiral games. It isn't even considered a black sheep. It is just that awful. Why I'm LPing it, I have no clue. But, oh, what the heck? Oh, the Y button is just to look around, really? Why do I even want to use Flame Breath if freaking charging is better? Ah, uh, yes, sheep as fodder to heal sparks. We all know that. Oh, man, they make Spark seem like he's an idiot. They never went over this, like this, and uh, the other Spark games. They actually had to talk to Zoe or Zoe, depending on where you come from. And it was just like, yeah. This is actually going to be a pretty short LP, thinking that uh, it doesn't take me very long to complete it. I haven't played it since back in like the mid-2000s, so I will be a little rusty, and you can't 100% this level off the bat, because there's only one hub world in this game. And a lot of it you can't complete yet, because of gates where you need other runes that you can't get yet. You can only get the bubble breath rune in this world, or in this world right now. Which means you can't open this first gate over here that we're running towards. And see, so he's gonna blabber on. Hey, big lock. Electric breath. It's funny, it's like electric breath. This is also when the uh, series, because this came out right around the same time as the Game Boy Advance Pokemon games came out. It had that thing where it was like breath type, breath type. You know, Sparrow wasn't good enough with only fighter breath, he needed every other kind of breath. Which I really despised. I hate when they added in all the breaths. It was a cool concept at first, like when I played Hero's Tale. And only Hero's Tale is it actually a cool concept. It, it keeps somewhat similar Spyro features, but at the same time it has, you know, new ones. But it didn't like really kill the series too much. This one nearly did. Then they sort of redeemed themselves with Hero's Tale. I wonder if I can actually burn these plants. Yeah, see, so you can't even burn, burn plants as Spyro. Hey. Okay, yes, to jump. Um, for those who have played Hero's Tale, which I will be LPing probably five or six, no, well, maybe like five videos down the road. Um, yeah. uh, you can actually double jump in that. Somewhat better than the jumping in this game, but not too much better. Hey, there's actually something over there. There is the fire breath power up. Oh, and you can actually have her in this game. Good, 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 good. I didn't know if you could or not, but today will be the last day that I use my crappy mic, so we'll be getting a better mic. And you give me a dragonfly, sir. Yay, we got bubbles, the bubbly. Dragonfly, that's that's such a cheesy name. And he just like disappears. He just jumps into thin air. Okay, now these are actually challenge gates. These are not fire breath power-ups like, you know, well they are but at the same time. Okay, blah blah blah. Do you really need to have that many text boxes? Um Why couldn't I go in there? Okay, you know what? I'm getting bubble breath before I even attempt to. That dragonfly over there is annoying me. I need to catch him. So here's the rune that gives us bubble breath. And really, you needed to go all that way? Yes, I need all that. It's funny. She goes on and on about the rune giving you bubble breath. But here, I can explain it for you. Take it over here and you get bubble breath. The end. Spyro, the magic of this sacred rune will bestow upon you the power of bubble breath. Bobble Breath? Not Bubble Breath, but Bobble Breath? I didn't know I was playing Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble Bobble Bubble Bobble Bobble Bobble. So, uh, now if we press the... Oh, okay, it's the uh, L and R buttons. Okay, it's just the L button? Never mind. And we shoot this guy with bubbles and we should catch him. We got Toons! Hey, Who names their son Toons? Like, really, man, who names your kid Toons? 
Now this challenge here is actually very annoying. I don't know why I've ever had trouble with it, I just do. And now... Uh, hello. There we go. Oh, hey, I guess you have the, uh... Oh, wait a minute, what the F? We definitely screw this up because of that stupid issue I had right there. But oh well. Near on buggy buggy buggy. Oh shoot, there's one up here that I'm not gonna get to in time. I know it. Oh well, I'll just have to retry. It's not the end of the world. It is worth a dragonfly at least, but uh Yeah. Would have helped if I didn't head bash the freaking ground. Well, there's like so many of them too, it's ridiculous. So we're only off by one, okay, it's not going to take us too long to get, get it. So I'm gonna, if I didn't head bash, and I didn't, you know, mess up going up here the first time, having to run back and forth, I probably would have gotten it. But you know me and my uh, stupidity sometimes. Wait a minute, I wonder... And you know what? No. It's easier just to go the... Why did I always press that button? Like, because I'm in, like, hover mode, but then I go and press that. And that screws you up. So then you're like, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, and then you really got to learn how to do the charging on this game, because the charging is a little off-timed. So if you're used to precision timing jumping and stuff... Then this is going to be a nightmare for you. I feel sorry for any original Spyro player who ever played this. Because this does not feel like the original Spyro one bit. It gives you a new feel, but at the same time it's a bad new feel. But we got it. Luckily. That was great, Spyro. And released a dragonfly named Jeet. Hey, it's Jeet. What the F kind of name is Jeet, man? Jeet is such a stupid name. Okay, this is actually the first level, I think, over here that we can go to. But I don't want to do that in this part of the video. This is, um, what? That, um, I didn't talk to you! I don't want to go there. That takes you to the first level. Which is, I think, not Monkey... Uh, oh, Dragon Dojo. I was going to say Monkey Monastery, but... Not the level I'm thinking of. That is a level in this game, though. And it is not easy. I repeat, not easy. I didn't mean to jump down there. And yes, you'll see some return of some old characters from Spyro in here. You'll see money bags and other guys like that. You know, some pretty basic things. Nothing too, too fancy. Nothing too, too new either. Uh, sometimes the game looks like it runs extremely smooth for a Spyro game. But remember, Hero's Tail actually had spots like that where it moved really smooth. That's one thing I did like about the game was its smooth moving graphics. And I have to do compliment this game on that. A lot of the time, uh, you usually are doing pretty good. And now what's this breath? Probably ice breath, eh? Yeah, yeah that's ice breath. There you know. So another gate we cannot open yet. So one of these levels has the electric breath, and one of these levels has the ice breath. Now which one comes first? We'll just have to figure that out. And it looks like we got a bear over here. It's that sleepy bear. Oh, hi, sleepy bear. I don't think we can go to his level yet, so don't even bother. But that pretty much does it for this video, because we collected all the gems here. I don't think that we can actually, you know, check how many things we've gotten. So anyway, in the next episode, we will be going here to actually... Yeah, in the next episode, we will be going to Dragon Dojo. See you guys next time.